I am closing out my day by closing out my birthday. It's been three weeks <laughs> and um, I'm ready to, um, to get my birthday cards bound into some sort of fashion. Now this is different for me because I usually um, I keep certain cards and then certain cards I recycle. Like this card would have been a recycling. I would have um, taken the sentiment out of here which is written right here and I would have used this card as you know a recycled kind of element. Um, you know you just lift that part out and you've got a totally blank card here to do to do with what you want. Um, but this was a special birthday so I wanted to keep all of the cards that I received for my birthday. Um, I, I toyed around with a couple of things. Uh, Jenny Belly has this great uh, tutorial about uh, binding um, greeting cards together in like a um, she beads the spine. Uh, it's hard to describe, but if I find the video, I'll put it uh, in the link below. And then I thought, I, I don't really, I don't want to, um, that's going to take a lot of time. And I would kind of just like to kind of, it's Sunday. I'm ready to start anew on my Monday. And I, I wanted to get this done today, not, you know, make it a two-day thing. So, I kind of organized my cards into signatures, and I got two signatures here. And then I thought, well, you know, I need something to put the signatures in, and wouldn't you just know it, Miss Kathy sent me these greeting cards, and they're huge. Um, they're also super pretty, and I'm sorry that I'm going to cover one over <laughs> and make a different sort of cover to this book, but um, I'm sure she understands, and I have more of these that I'm going to share with you guys. Oh my goodness, they are so pretty. Look at that. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. Clement Seymour. I just think they're really special. Uh, okay, I... Um, I have lost my train of thought. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I was going to tell you that I, I expanded the spine here on the book by measuring a quarter inch each way and just scoring a quarter inch out from the main fold of the card. So a quarter inch this way, a quarter inch this way. So, you know, basically I just kind of bumped it out a little bit and made it into a half inch spine. Um, my friend from New Zealand sent me this exquisite paper, and sorry, y'all aren't going to get any of that. <laughs> I'm going to be completely hoardy, and <laughs> I am, I'm going to use it all. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot of it, but I thought it just made this this beautiful cover you guys and you know since it was my 60th spin around the sun then uh, I thought the sun was very was very appropriate for this uh, so what I'm gonna do and I'll show you how I'm gonna finish the inside of the card as well is I am taking some score tape and just going around the edges here and I am going to double stick this down because I do, you know, I do want it to last. It's a memory piece, right? And, you know, memory pieces are something that you want to make last. I was kind of bummed when I looked in my drawer and I thought, oh no, I am going to be out of score tape. I'm not going to be able to score tape this down and that's exactly, that's what I wanted to do with it. Um, and ta-da, when I went to Michael's and spent my gift card, I got some tape. I love this tape. Uh, at 50% off, it's like three fifty. dollars It's a half inch. It's 12.7 millimeters, 25 yards right there. But I did order the tape that I'm using right here. This is, I think I ordered it from Angel Crafts. And I have really loved it. And I will tell you exactly why 
I really love it because it is fairly easy to get off, you know, to get the backing off. And, you know, that's that's always a problem with, you know, with score tape is to get that, to get that backing off. So I hope that I haven't spoken and then I'm going to sit here for three minutes trying to, yeah, see, yay. All right. That's one. I apologize for the noise in the background. Um, Kronk is panting. He had his <laughs> flea, flea medicine this morning and it just, uh, my dogs get kind of lethargic when they have their flea medicine, but my goodness, I watched Mia on the deck this morning and like, oh my gosh, just mosquitoes are just flocking around that, that little girl. So I, um, put flea medicine on them. Okay, so I've got the score tape off of this. Now, this card was kind of just laid out perfectly. This was the, um, the exact size of the piece of paper that my friend uh, from New Zealand sent me. Um, so, it's like it wasn't going to quite cover the card, but... This is such a nice uh, little thing to happen. What happened here was that, um, hold on a second. Oh, I'm so sticky. Hold on. Was that I could kind of use the border of the card and be able to um, just stick my paper down. So you see how that worked? I used the border of that card and just stuck my paper down and that worked really really well. I couldn't believe that. I'm like oh see that's very pretty right there. Uh, the inside same thing. I have some scrapbook paper and I'm just going to I think for the inside I am just going to do it with tacky glue and it might have to be trimmed off a little bit, but no big deal. No big deal about that. The inside of these cards are quite elegant too. The cards are uh, from 2004 and they are very hefty, my friends. I mean, they've got a lot of, they're like a, they're like the cover of a book. They're very, um, very sturdy. Okay. Let's see if we've got that on there. Okay, I am going to have to trim some off of it. I didn't think it was probably going to fit. Oh, wait. Okay. Mmm, this is why I really like tacky glue. <laughs> I've moved this all around to get it to fit. And there we go. I've still got some overlap. Um, I've got overlap when I close it. You know how that happens? So I'm going to trim that off right there. And there we go. There we go. Alright, that looks super cool. I like this paper because it says, um... Let me read you what it says. It's so super cool. It says, Amazing, awesome, once upon a time, world, excitement, traveling, adventure, live life, happiness, true story, best. I, I thought, love often, my story, epic, together, dream vacation. I had a dream vacation in April of this year. So I tell you, 60 has been quite... Um, Quite extraordinary already. I'm getting a little bit of pull right here, so let's see if we can't reset that to where I'm not getting that. Oh, there it goes. All right, now I'm ready, and I'm doing this really, really simply, you guys. Um, I'm recreating my spawn right here. So I've got my spawn right here, and then I've got that quarter inch right here. Let me pull that back. Okay, so I'm just kind of recreating my spine. 
They got kind of lost when we were covering things. Okay, so there we are. Oh, and we've got somebody cutting grass outside too. <laughs> and my fan's going. <laughs> lots, lots of noise. Um, okay, I am taking a bit of, I found this at Michael's, y'all, and I, oh my goodness, I really do love it. It is like a, um, um, they call it cording, uh, like a um, cord, a binding cord, but I think it's just like embroidery floss, but I, I do, um, it's kind of got like this tie-dyed ombre effect going on, which is kind of fun. Okay, one, two, Let's see how many I got in here, got my two, pull this up. Pull this down, clip, see I'm making my spine now to bind my books into, just tug on that just a little bit, lift up, and tie. I kind of thought about sewing this, but Sometimes that does not go so great for me. Like I said, I really wanted to I wanted to get it done when I get it. I, I'm going to put this on my piano downstairs. Um, and I think that it'll make a nice little you know addition to um, not that we have much decor going on downstairs because we have a lot of amplifiers in the house right now. Um, and music equipment. We just seem to always have have that kind of stuff in there. Looks more like a rock club than it does a house sometimes. <laughs> All right, so we are just slipping in our signatures like this, and there we go. And you can see like that card was just the perfect thing. I'm going to put in, um, these are my decor for my party were flip-flops, you guys. Flip-flops, uh, this banner, um, like it, it was a whole beach, uh, motif going on. It was, it was so cool. My friend, uh, put 6-0 on a right flip-flop and a left flip-flop, and she had them hanging on the banisters that were just so neat. So I definitely want to use that on the inside. So I'll tack those down right there. Just easy, easy. No big whoop. It's Sunday night, so no stress on a Sunday. All right. And then on the back, I want to adhere this, but I think that before I do that, I'm going to finish this off with some beads. And I've chosen um, some yellow handmade beads. These were made from painty paper um, and some red beads. So let me grab my binding needle and... We'll go ahead and put those on. I'm going to start with the longer, longer thread here. And I hope that I can get it through the eye. We'll see how that works out tonight. Hmm. Might have to change glasses, y'all. Oh, yep, I'm going to have to change glasses. Hold on. Collar hold, please. Clip that off. Um, let's see if I can find my little spectacles. Oh, there they are. I have done some reorganizing, and I am liking it. I had kept a lot of my things in, like, coffee cups and cups and stuff like that. And now I'm keeping it in a small a plastic three-tiered organizer that is really really working for me 
I like it. It's um, also where Loki and Thor and Pop Jack Sparrow and Captain Jack Sparrow kind of hang out during the day. My board of directors. <laughs> okay, one more try. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to get it. Just hold on for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, y'all. And then we are going to take those off. Put the other ones on. All right. And I will start getting some of these beads on here. I thought these beads went really great with that. And I know there's not, like, red on the cover of this, but... Mm, you know, I really do. I love that red. I love that red bead. Um, I got to make more paper beads because I am out. Out, out. Alright, now let's do this kind of orangey tint one. I know, I just put an orange bead on there. <gasps> <laughs> Alright, uh, these are some really sweet beads. I think these are like Czechoslovakian beads or something like that. And then I've got one more red to go on there. And we'll do that double loop thing. We're almost done, BB. Are you ready to eat? Hmm? Huh? Can you say yes? Can I talk? Oh, no talking. He is, um, he's 12 years old now. He's a Rhodesian Ridgeback. We got him from the shelter. And um, he can say yes, which is the coolest thing in the whole wide world. When he wants his snacks or treats. He goes, <laughs> And sometimes he's trying to be really quiet. And it doesn't quite come out. Okay, same thing here. Just hold on just a minute. Okay, I'm back. My friend Lorraine's going to flip out when she sees this orange. It is pretty. <laughs> you have to admit. <sighs> I'm converting, friends. I'm converting. All right. And then I'm going to put... These are the last two that I have of these spectacular beads. They're so pretty. And then... I think I like these red ones because they're just so sparkly. Very pretty. Oh, I hope I've left enough, enough thread to get that through there. Oh. Yay. Alright, here we go. And there we go, guys. Just a really very simple way to create a binding for, um, you know, for cards that, um, for a, a very special occasion. Uh, could be for an anniversary or a birthday or, um, I, you know, I think that I, um, I have enough vintage cards to understand that people love to keep them but rarely display them and this way I can put this on my piano and if anyone comes in and says oh well that's a really pretty book you can say well it's not it's a book that holds my 60th birthday cards this one was a little big uh, but it was all about the signatures on the inside um, so I did just kind of fold that. I love that one. This is from my mama. This one says party like two 30 year olds. <laughs> God, 30 was a long way away. Uh, this is the card that my sister got me. This is the card that my daughter-in-law's mom got me, which I think is so cute. It says, Go Nuts, and it's a squirrel playing a guitar. So that was awesome. This is from uh, one of my sons. So that's a nice little fold-out element there. Let's Get Lost in Space, Explore. That's from another of my sons, my two sons. 
I'm so happy we were able to surprise you for your 60th. <laughs> the look on your face was priceless. <laughs> That's from Corey. Happy 60th birthday. Uh, happy 60th. I joined the 60s in January. Weren't we just 50? Tom goes too fast. I hope you have an enjoyable day and a great year. Hope to see you sometime. And this is from my, my friend Linda and her puppy Luke. It was just gorgeous. This is from my daughter-in-law Shannon, my daughter-in-law Carolyn. This is from my son. He always signs his uh, cards till the wheels fall off. Happy birthday with much love till the wheels fall off. That might be closer than anybody's thinking right now. <laughs> Happy 60th birthday. I've always been glad that you're my sister. Happy birthday. And that's from my sister. So you guys, if you want to bind yourself up some birthday cards, greeting cards, anniversary cards, wedding cards, this is a great little way to do it. It's a snazzy little book. It's a snap to put together. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a super Sunday. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks for listening, you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.